Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Friday, February the 19th, 2010. Well, a smaller body candle today. The body of this candle today is approximately half the size of the previous body. And that's telling us that the buyers have not made as much bullish gain as they did on the previous day. That raises some doubt about the continuation of the trend in the first time frame. Now, the trend in, is up in the first time frame. We do have a continuation of the higher highs and higher lows. And this candle is another of the spinning top type candles where we have a rather small body with a shadow on either end. Having said that, though, this market has actually opened around the midpoint level and closed between the midpoint level and the high. So it means that even though it's fairly indecisive, the bulls did close the market in control and they showed stronger commitment than the bears to taking this market higher rather than the bears taking this market lower. The bears attempted to trade the market down um, into the body of the previous candle, but the buyers came back in uh, fairly solidly to close the market up at the level we just mentioned. Interestingly, though, uh, we have this type of candle with a fairly small body around this zone of uh, resistance that we identified around this 11.06, and the market has previously held up in that area. The market has closed above that area now, so that could be significant for this market. But the market is trading within the cloud or the Kumo, so that means that the market is neutral in terms of the longer-term time frame. The market can potentially find uh, resistance anywhere within the cloud, so there is potential for the market to uh, um, cease the um, trend that the market's in at the time, at the, at the moment, with the um, trend being up. So we could have uh, some sort of congestion area develop or potentially a retracement of this first time frame uptrend. If the market does continue to the upside, we need to watch the high of the current candle for the potential for the market to trade up to around the top of the cloud here, around this 11.24 region. So that's the end of the potential resistance. And if the market does continue through there, the bulls would like to see a, an extremely bullish close up above there. And considering that we have previous uh, support and resistance around the 11.33 region, uh, that's an, going to be an important region for the market to breach if it does trade up. Now, if the market does sell off, then there's uh, potential support at the Kijun Sen, which is at 1097, and anywhere to the downside, the cloud can act as an area of support as well. So anywhere down to 1089 can potentially act as support. We also have the Tenkan Sen here, which may act as support. That's at 1084, and also coincides with this 1080 level previous area of support and resistance. Interestingly, the uh, Tenkan Sen is pointing up quite sharply, reflecting the, the strong upside momentum that the market's got at the moment. So that is a positive sign for this market, even though it is trading within the cloud. Now, the market is trading up above both the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. So in the medium <coughs> and fast time frames, the market is uh, bullish. But the fact that the market's trading within the cloud overrides all of that. So that tells us that overall the market is neutral. So um, as usual, we need to watch how the market interacts with the highs and the lows of the current candle. Um, but um, there's some decent resistance overhead and some solid support down below. So not really a market that we'd like to um, be trading until the market um, breaks out of the cloud and um, substantially breaks out either with a bullish or bearish close above or below the cloud.